What is going on guys? Jason Burke here, Styles Clash for Life, coming at you on YouTube and today I've got my first unboxing in a long time. When I first started getting into YouTube regularly and getting back into it consistently, uh, my channel was known for unboxing. I did, did a lot of unboxing videos for different packs and stuff like that because I didn't have a lot of horror stuff laying around the house and I wanted to get involved in the unboxing phase of things. As you can see by the backgrounds now in my entire house, I am covered in horror things. I've got all memorabilia that I could possibly use right now. So I have not done any horror packs or horror unboxings or anything like that in a long time. But a deal came up that I could not pass up. It is October. It is our month horror fans. It is what we live for. And I saw that horror pack, uh, which is a service that usually does uh, four, four DVDs monthly for 20 bucks or four Blu-rays monthly for 25 bucks. It's like a mystery grab bag. You, you, get, you get four of each for that price. Um, but I guess like a couple times a year, they do a um, kind of a, a bulk sale where they do um, a big unloading of their extra DVDs and Blu-rays. So they had some deals up on the website. They only had so many in stock, but they had like, it was a, um, the one I got was DVD. So it was 12 DVDs for um, 30 bucks plus, plus $5 shipping. So it was 30 bucks plus five bucks shipping. So 35 bucks total for 12 DVDs and this awesome, cool tote bag that it comes in. So I figured, you know, I've got so many DVDs. I'm sure I'm going to run across a couple of, of uh, ones I already own. I'm sure I'm going to get a couple obscure ones I never heard of before. But I've seen some of their um, DVDs in the past, and they, they're they really pretty quality, pretty good stuff. So I figured for less than $3 ship per DVD, uh, plus a free tote bag, that's a pretty good deal. You break down the cost there, you're getting 12 DVDs for 35 bucks. Less than $3 a piece shipped, plus a free tote bag. And this tote bag is pretty cool. First of all, it's a horror pack tote bag. Um, they also have a Blu-ray pop-up pack that they do. Um, but I think that's sold out before I, I got this pack. It just came in about an hour ago. I can't wait to unbox it. Um, so the Blu-ray one is sold out, but I think there are still a few more DVD ones. So if you see this pack and you like some of the options in here, you might want to go pick it up on the popuppack.com or horrorpack.com, I believe is the website. Uh, so let's go ahead and break this out and unbox this. And uh, like I said, for 35 bucks, you're hoping to get a couple gems uh, that I don't already own. But if I can find some cool exclusives here, or even a few movies that I know I like or that I've wanted to watch, I'm going to consider this a win. Because again, less than $3 per DVD, plus a free tote bag, I think is pretty cool. Cool design. Thank you, Horror Pack, for this cool sale. Very excited to get started. I took this out of the packaging, but I did not touch, I did not open any of the DVDs. I didn't look at anything. In fact, it, looked, it feels like everything is currently still sealed. Maybe. Okay, this is a blind unboxing. I have no idea what I'm expecting going in. I have not looked at any of these. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to do these one at a time. And the first one is The Employer. This is Malcolm McDowell, who's on the cover here. I love Malcolm McDowell. He played a great uh, Dr. Loomis in Rob Zombie's remake. He was also in Clockwork Orange, I believe. Uh, Malcolm McDowell, Paige Howard, and Billy Zane, The Employer. How far will they go to get the job? So I've never seen this one before. Never heard of it. But it looks pretty cool. The release, the year on this is, looks like 2013, at least the DVD was made. So 2013, The Employer looks pretty cool. The cast looks pretty good. I love Malcolm McDowell, so I will definitely check this one out. Have not heard that one before. Let's get into some more here. We've got, we've got, how do you even say this? I don't even know how to say this one. It's the Maneater series, and it's got a nice slipcover on it. It's called Wyvern. Wyvern. It says, Ancient Evil Come Has Come to Feed. It is a, looks like a creature feature of some sort. Wyvern. I've never heard of this before either, but it's got a really cool slipcover on it, and the slipcover pops out a little bit. The image, the creature on this cover, which looks really cool, is a pop-out. So you can feel the cool slipcover. Then you take it off and you got the same cover on the DVD. It says, it'll be the death of you. So it looks kind of like a Tremors, Slug, Slither kind of thing, where it's some big giant creatures. This can be make or break based on if the creatures are uh, CGI or practical. If they're practical and they look cool, this is going to be a fun, easy watch. If it's CGI, it's going to be cheesy bullshit. So it all depends. If you guys have seen this, tell me in the comments below, Wyvern, if the, if the creatures are CGI 
or practical because that is going to make or break the difference in this film. I have never heard of this one before either. So, so far, we have two entirely unknown films. And if you guys have these or know of these, please tell me in the comments below if these are worth $3. The next one we have is one that I've wanted to see. Guillermo del Toro's Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. This one I've been looking forward to. This is Katie Holmes and Guy Pearce. This is one that I saw when the previews first came out, and I never got to see the movie. Um, so I have not honestly seen a lot of Del Toro's stuff, but the preview looks really haunting and creepy. Uh, this also includes a three-part making of documentary of this movie as well as an extra feature. So Game of Del Toro, I like Katie Holmes. I grew up loving, and uh, there's also a featurette on this that looks pretty cool. So I'm actually pretty excited to get this one. Uh, this is one of those movies that I've never really seen beyond the trailer, but if I saw this in a store for $3, I'd pick this up and give it a chance. So I think even just to have this in my collection is worth it uh, to give this a chance. So I'm glad with that one. That's a pretty solid one. There's another one in this pack here. Okay, we have one. Uh, oh, this is really cool, actually. We have one that I've seen before uh, and I like a lot, actually. It is VHS and it says Horror Pack Signed. So I've got a signed copy of VHS. I don't know who signed it, but it's got the Horror Pack Signed sticker on it. I'm a huge fan of VHS. I've seen it uh, two or three times now. Some of the sequels, not as good, but the first one I thought was one of the more underrated anthologies. I love VHS-style anthologies. Really cool idea for the film, and I enjoyed most of the skits in this one. There's also quite a bit of special features on this as well. So to get a movie that I've enjoyed before that I do not own already, and it is signed by somebody, I just don't know who right now, but it's signed by somebody, that is well worth the $3 and probably worth more than $10 to me. So that is uh, the second in a row that I know I'm glad to have in my collection. Very cool to get a signed copy of VHS. Again, if you guys have seen those movies and you like them, tell me in the comments below. That is the end of the first package. I think they're just like multiple packages put together in this tote bag. Let me go into the second one. I love doing these blind unboxings. If you guys like these unboxings and you guys want to see me do more of these in the future, please tell me in the comments down below. Next we have, okay, interesting, we have The Unraveling. Relentless and Bone Chilling, it says. It's got a bunch of um, Fright Fest and Scream Fest laurels on the bottom. It's called uh, The Unraveling. And it's got a bunch of Friday the 13th hockey masks on it. It's got the Jason mask with a bunch of hooded characters. So it looks kind of like a camp slasher of some sort. It's got the Jason Voorhees. Really cool looking cover. Obviously, I love camp slashers and Jason Voorhees, so... That might be solid. There's a real brief synopsis on the back here. This looks like it, it might almost kind of be like almost a, a bootleg. I know it's not a bootleg, but it kind of looks like one just by the back cover of it. The back cover just kind of looks very... I'm sorry if you guys are getting glare. I apologize. The synopsis says, Michael's heroin addiction is beginning to test his limits, but when he's kidnapped and taken to the woods, he soon discovers just how far those limits will go. So, sounds like a pretty fun movie. Um, I'm seeing Billy Bob Thornton in here, James C. Burns, Cooper Harris. Okay, this definitely is one that uh, I'm looking forward to checking out. I think it's 2015, it looks like, on the date. Never heard of this one before, never saw it before, but the description and the cover have me intrigued. So, worth checking out, I think. What do we have next? We have an all-time classic. I love this movie so much. And I watch it almost every October, so it's perfect that it came in. House on Haunted Hill, the classic Vincent Price version from William Castle, the famous horror director. Um, pretty much everyone owns some version of this. I've got this movie about six times on those different um, 20 horror pack things where you get 20 movies on two DVDs. And this is always one of the movies because it's one of the most famous and uh, classic horror films that is... Uh, not owned by anybody in particular. It is considered uh, free monetization wise. So I own this on a bunch of sets, but I don't own my own uh, individual copy. So now I can actually own this one because this is one of the better classic horror films. I love this movie. I'm a huge fan of it. <clears throat> um, again, I've already owned it, but to get its own thing, I hope, it, I hope it's got some features on it. I don't see any features on it, but you got to love House on Haunted Hill with Vincent Price, man. It's a classic. So good to own this one, even though I already had it. I got my own copy now on its individual disc. So that's worth three bucks for sure. Next, we have <clears throat> Paranormal Captivity. 
And this looks like it might be rough. It says, fear the living, fear the dead. Many twists and turns keep the audience guessing. And it has like a little kind of a Samara girl with, with her hair. Look like she's wet out of the tub. New home, new life, new terror, this says on the back. Um, I'm not a big fan of just random haunted spirit movies. Paranormal stuff doesn't usually uh, get me. I'm not really a big fan of just the plain old jump scare movies. They're overdone for sure. Um, so I don't know what to expect from this one. I'm not expecting too much, to be honest. It seems like this is just going to be another haunted spirit film where people are trapped in a house by some little spirit girl who's got some backstory that she can't get free of. So not expecting too much out of this. But again, for three bucks, you really can't go wrong with any of these. So I'm going to give this a watch. And any of these that I don't like, if I watch these and don't like these, you guys are, well, are welcome to, you know, if you want to buy them for cheap or if you want to trade me some other movies or something like that, we can talk about stuff in the comments. If there's any of these you guys have seen that you love, tell me about that below. This one doesn't look too great to me. I'm not a big fan of the paranormal genre, but we'll see. Here goes another one. We have The Summoning. This one looks pretty cool. Sometimes the dead call the living. It's the summoning, and it bleeds down into the girl being upside down on the cover. The summoning. This one looks really cool. The back says, bodies can be buried, but spirits never die. And um, I'm seeing a couple actors that I recognize from before. Eric Roberts especially. He's in a lot of these kind of things. Here's the back, if I haven't shown you guys the back already. Not quite sure what to expect. <clears throat> I'm trying not to read all of the back summaries of these just because it'll take forever. This video will be a million uh, minutes, but um, this is 2016. Eric Roberts is in it. Um, I got a feeling it could be decent. It can go either way. It can be really boring or it can be kind of a dark, uh, underrated film. So I'm going to check this one out. Surprised that I haven't heard of most of these movies. I guess, I guess uh, the remaining stock was kind of like... A lot of the unknown stuff. I imagine a lot of the known stuff gets bought up pretty quick whenever they sell by itself. So no surprise that a lot of the big name things are already gone. But I'm finding some that could be gems. We've got one more pack full right here. I'm going to just pull this out. And again, before I finish, uh, the inside of this tote bag is pretty sturdy. Pretty sweet tote bag you get as well with this. Good deal for horror pack. And then let me go ahead and get these last couple out of the way. We've got... City of Dead Men, okay? This looks like one you would see on like Tubi <clears throat> with a really cool cover and you hope it winds up not being cheesy. City of Dead Men has got several um, animal masked guys, bunny masks with kind of like, they're just like anarchists in the background. You've got the pretty cool mask without the eyes on the front. City of Dead Men looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of psychological thriller talk on here. This one, this one might catch my attention. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this one, but I'm willing to give this one a try. <clears throat> Here's the back. <clears throat> I feel like I may have seen this on, on one of the streaming apps or something at some point, but never actually watched it. <clears throat> if you guys have seen City of Dead Men, tell me in the comments below what you think. Next, I'm moving on to a classic, but I already own, but it is a classic. <clears throat> and again, these are all sealed, so it's nice to get sealed copies of these. Amityville Horror, it's an all-time classic. Uh, it would be worth <clears throat> half the value of the pack alone if I didn't already own this on DVD. I do love this movie. It is one of the better 70s horror films in all of that decade, in my opinion. Classic Haunted House, it is the ultimate in paranormal uh, psychological descent. I love those kind of movies when they're done right. This is the grandfather of them in its time period. Um, I'll be probably trading this to somebody in the horror community. So if you guys need this movie, let's talk trade or something, because I already own this, and this is sealed. So, <clears throat> very good movie, good selection for this pack. People that don't have this will love this. So, very cool. I've got two more left. Two more left. We've got the Boston Strangler with David Faustino and Andrew Divoff. That looks very interesting. The Boston Strangler, The Untold Story. I've heard about the Boston Strangler over the years but never got into a biographical sense with that story. So this looks pretty interesting. And I know that David Faustino was Bud Bundy on Married with Children. I always knew him in that comedic role. And Andrew Divoff was Wishmaster in Wishmaster 1 and 2. So two very different style actors here. I think that's Divoff on the cover here. Uh, so I like the actors. There's a real short synopsis here that says, 
For years, the police thought they had captured and convicted the right man in the infamous Boston Strangler slayings. They were dead wrong. Now, the chilling truth story of one of the most terrifying serial sex murders in modern history comes to the screen with a gripping force that will leave you breathless. So, looks like a biopic of the Boston Strangler with a pretty cool cast. So, definitely excited to check this one out. We've got one more, my friends. The final of the 12 DVDs for 35 bucks shipped is one that I don't like. <laughs> okay, it is... Uh, it is a third part of a trilogy, so now I officially own this movie. Not that I really wanted to own this movie, but it is. I'll always know what you did last summer. Um, you guys probably, if you're watching this channel, you probably, like me, you know and love the first two. I know what you did last summer, and I still know what you did last summer. Those are great, classic, nostalgic 90s whodunit movies, which I, I grew up on. I love those movies. Uh, this third one has nothing to do with the original two. And has none of the characters return, and the story doesn't connect, and it's a very paint-by-numbers basic story that kind of tries to remake the first one without the charisma or the flair or the pacing. So not a great movie, uh, but I did not own it on DVD officially, and I did I do own the first two. So I do now have a complete set, at least, of all three of these movies. If I want to marathon them or something, or most people that have never heard of this third one didn't know it existed, I can always pop this in for them now and they can see... Uh, for themselves how bad it is. So I did get one movie here that is pretty bad, but all in all, I'm pretty proud of this. Pretty solid for uh, for 12 movies. I got w one movie that I already own, one movie that I don't like, and then out of the other 10, I feel pretty good about this. I, uh, I got one that I really wanted in VHS, which is also signed. I got another one that I really wanted in House on Haunted Hill to get its own copy. And then I've got eight other films that I've never heard of before that some look pretty promising. So I think for 35 bucks shipped, that's a pretty good deal. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below, what are my steals? Have you seen any of those many movies that I'd never heard of before? Tell me in the comments below what you think of those, if you've seen them. And uh, tell me in the comments below what you think overall of this pop-up pack. And if you want to see more unboxings, stay on my channel. Keep telling me about it. I'm looking forward to it. Happy October, October, guys. I will see you soon.